Dear viewers and followers, today I'm to explain much more about tire and plastic paralysis process. On the first stage, let me start with plastic paralysis process. Plastic paralysis process start with collect and store the plastic waste. Example, HDPE, LDPE, PP plastic. Secondary, shred or generate the plastic into small pieces. Thirdly, feed the plastic into pyrolysis reactor. Step four, heat the reactor into a temperature of 300 to 500 degrees Celsius into bracket 575 to 932 degrees Fahrenheit in the absence of oxygen. Last but not the least, plastic breakdown into liquid fuel into bracket pyrolysis oil, gas into bracket sink, liquid residue into bracket carbon black. Whilst tire pyrolysis process start with collecting and shred cheap tires feed the shredded tires into a pyrolysis reactor heat the pyrolysis reactor into a temperature of 400 to 600 degrees celsius into bracket 750 to 1112 degrees fahrenheit in the absence of oxygen the tire break down into a liquid fuel into bracket pyrolysis oil gas into brackets sink gas carbon black into bracket solid residue steel into bracket form tire reinforcement the temperature difference between both tire and plastic waste the plastic pyrolysis is 300 degrees to 500 degrees celsius into bracket 575 to 939 degrees Fahrenheit. Whilst the tire paralysis process, the temperature is 400 degrees to 600 degrees Celsius into brackets 752 to 1112 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature range affects the production yield and quality. High temperature tend to produce more gas and less liquid fuel key consideration reactor design and type feedstock preparation and quality temperature control and uniformity residence time and reaction conditions product refinery and upgrading some potential applications of pyrolysis products include pyrolysis oil can be used as fuel for industrial process, transportation, or power generation. Same gas can be used for electricity generation, chemicals, synthesis, or fuel production. Carbon black can be used in rubber manufacturing construction materials or as soil amendment steel steel removed from the tire pyrolysis can be recycling and reused pyrolysis technology has potential benefits including waste production energy production resources recovering and potential for carbon emissions reduction. Would you like to know much more about pyrolysis technology, advertisement, challenges, or specific applications? Like and share for more. This lifestyle innovation.